Hello everyone. Hi guys. Welcome back. It's the scene tarot Gemini's. This is going to be your read. Um, we're going to just jump into an energy pull for you. I hope that this resonates for you. If it does, um, don't forget to thumbs up the video here on the YT. Support your videos, you guys, on the channel. Continue to help this channel grow, okay? All right, so we're just going to push out an energy and see where it, where it leads. Um, this is a general, not a personal. All the information for personals is in the description box, so give me a shoot. Everything should be in the description box. The prices, I broke up the day, the weeks for the, the tarot classes as well, you guys. It is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do have morning classes and um, night classes, okay? So let me know um if you are ready to go all right so let's just see here i'm trying to shuffle this deck okay thank you holy spirit holy angels holy father the energy for gemini's the energy for gemini's what's going on for gemini's here Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Guides. What's going on for Gemini's? What's the energy? What's the energy for Gemini's? All right, so you have the Page of Pentacles. Here's your first card. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. the eight of pentacles the five of well the eight of wands i said pentacles Ooh, i'm thinking about somebody moving up somebody moving up i'm seeing some kind of messages coming towards you very very quickly this is about financial matters i feel like you guys have been waiting for something to break here and it's coming in quickly i feel like you've been like holding up some kind of fork for so long or holding up some kind of responsibility there is also some kind of acknowledgement here, like the work that you have done, or there's some kind of appreciation about this with this page of cups. Like someone really trying to do something deceiving here, and they're realizing like, you know what, they shouldn't have done that. That's what I'm getting here because they're so like, like giving you this cup of appreciation and affection. And it's coming in very quickly, like these huge changes here. I'm also seeing the justice in your favor. The Ten of Cups in reverse. The Page of Pentacles in the upright. So there's like this giving back to something that has been like lost or something that has been not feeling like home. And I'm seeing like the scales are finally being balanced here within the 10. Libra energy, major arcana. That could be a Libra for those of you who you're dealing with. But I'm just seeing like there is balance coming back in the situation. Okay. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Holy Angels, Holy Father. You know what I'm seeing here? Right off the bat, oh my God, I'm seeing the chariot in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Wands. Like, there was some kind of confusion here. A lot of you... <laughs> I'm getting someone left you behind and let you fed for yourself or pick up the pieces on your own because you're still going through the situation and 
and things are coming in quickly but you're still going through this hardship and this person is confused whoever this is and they're not making any kind of movements to decide to choose where they want to be but you have the justice on your end and there's a lot of things that you just don't know about this a lot of things that this person is keeping hidden keeping from you I'm also seeing the wow ten of pentacles the six and the four so there is like the ten of cups ten of pentacles in reverse so this doesn't feel like home any further the legacy that was built is falling apart here it's like you're going separate ways or deciding to go separate ways this transition there is a fear here like no one really wants this to happen with the six not sure why it's happening this is what i'm getting here something about this needs more clarity i'm seeing like you're holding back and you're waiting for something to change here you still want something here from this energy tell me more holy spirit the five of pen five of cups four the four and the five oh my it's like i'm just seeing like you're gonna have to move on because you're gonna feel emotionally disappointed drained this is all about abandonment emotionally no stability like this person whoever this is for you they make you feel like like you you got this like you don't need them. And this was very disappointing because you really wanted this to work. A lot of you are still even waiting for this person to come back around with this four. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. There's a huge delay here. I feel like there's something that's supposed to happen between you and this person, but every time you try to fail, um, I'm seeing this eight the lovers and the 10 of wands energy. So this person is still controlling the situation or trying to, or keeping things hidden from you. I'm also seeing the star here, the king of wands. And the nine. So there's a lot of history between you and this person too. That's what I'm getting, you guys. There's a lot of history here. The star is in reverse. There's a huge regret. <laughs> it's crazy because you have the six and you have the eight of this regret. You know, I'm, you're going to hear from this person, but they're not there to stay. They're not there to stay. It's crazy, but you're going to receive the truth. Because the justice is still in revert in the upright for you. Like you're going to receive the truth. But this person is coming in, but they're not there to stay. They're having a hard time. Some kind of hard time here within the lovers. Like this transition is happening. There is a hard time. Like, why is this happening? Really trying to let go, really trying to hold on to this situation, this transition. And there's a huge regret here of like letting things go so far. There's a burden, like a feeling of burden or something heavy or too heavy to carry. You're pretty much like tired of this and you want something more. A lot of you feel burnt out here, disappointed as of how this person has been. I'm just getting some kind of um, hmm, immaturity, insecurity, avoidance. It's like no determination lack of creativity like they're not they're not acting like this is 
holding them or acting like they're interested within this connection and the star it's just like losing faith and hope because of how this person is acting but you're still holding on to this nine tell me about this nine of wands and so is this person so there's things that you don't want people to know about this connection or relationship like a lot of you just keeping it to yourself here wow seven of cups tell me more tell me more about this the devil's energy Tell me more about this. I have to keep going. <laughs> Tell me more. Wow. The seven of pentacles. No appreciation. No investment. This person is pretty much stuck into something else. This person, um, I just feel like there's other choices here within the seven. Look at this. The seven of cups. This person is not even overwhelmed, so they don't want to be with these people, but they're focused on those cups and different kind of people so this could be multiple partnerships so for a lot of you i'm also seeing like this person is not making any preparations planning for stability with you this is what i'm getting here like they're not even trying to save this or they're acting like they're not even trying to save this they're pretty much stuck in some form of addiction here like the addiction could be sexual addiction drinking drugs gambling because money is also low here look at that ten of pentacles in reverse five of pentacles seven of pentacles a lot of money issues so oh this is for this my bet so capricorn energy aquarius energy gemini energy cancer energy major arcana libra energy major arcana for those of you who resonates with that, that's a confirmation for you that you are meant to be here. This is your situation, okay? All right, so let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. You know what I'm also seeing? Like this person is not overwhelmed with this, so they're not even in, in a position to kind of change this right now or they don't want to change this. This is why there's a huge delay here. There's still a control energy <laughs> of the seven like in the seven it's crazy because the seven of cups is here seven of wands and you have the seven of pentacles and it's like telling me like this person they're just like in this energy of just still being controlling of what is going on here trying to make these people happy trying to give them whatever they want Trying to please everybody. And this is a toxic situation. It's like they're chained to them. And so this could also be family situated. It's like I'm getting like this person can't just break away this way. <laughs> or so fast. Alright, so the Emperor in reverse the nine at least you are taking it up to this energy like you're still protecting them but you're not holding on to this anymore you're not trying to assist or to help i'm also seeing like within this um emperor energy you are definitely being manipulated for those of you Again, trying to be in control of you, the emperor. This person feels defeated or they feel like things have been taken away from them. They've been like putting you through a lot of distress and depression. But I'm seeing like you're releasing this force of energy. Aries, for those of you who are with an Aries. That is also coming out here, but I'm also seeing the lies, the lies, the lies, the lies and deceit and betrayal in the seven of uh, swords energy. Tell me more. Wow, you got one, two, three, four sevens. Oh my. Seven, 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 seven. Everything is being revealed. Everything that you wanted from the Holy Spirit everything the truth that you required 
um, they're coming to the surface and they're saying pay attention um, this is this is coming through like this is this is being placed within the physical realm and now you have to make your choice so tell me more Holy Spirit okay so you have this the two right here you have the six and you have the ace of swords huh interesting interesting the two the six i'm definitely seeing like um there's a choice that you're going to have to make or some kind of crossroad energy is coming into your life I'm seeing like traveling for those of you like this could be getting away for a while but this is getting away from this like imbalancement because there's no change right now it's like I'm seeing like for some of you too like this person is going to want you to choose your path I'm seeing a path of like something new or something exciting again your crossroads they want you to choose but there's no change within this person's energy and that's what i'm getting there's like no change within this person's energy y'all wow they're rushing back towards you so this is someone who left you for someone else or had other opportunities and left you for those opportunities. And now they're turning their back on these opportunities um, and trying to come back home. There's this fear with them as well, like they miss you or they need you or want you. There's a decision. Yeah, they made a decision here. Aries energy as well. Libra energy as well that's coming out here. There's a decision that has been made for this person's energy. Tell me more. Wow, they want to move on. They want to celebrate the Three of Cups. They want to get up past this. But the offer is not there yet because they don't know what you're going to choose. But they want to give you that King of Cups energy. But this person is emotionally draining, y'all. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. Emotionally draining. Emotionally manipulative. Like they, they could tell you like you've been through so much with them already. And they're telling you to like, well, there's you're not going to find anyone better than me. And that, you know, it's like, that's crazy to say. I mean, the offer is not a bad offer, but at the same time, they don't need to like manipulate you into it. And I'm also seeing the heartbreak here, which is still fresh, by the way. So you feel like you haven't learned anything from this person. And since you got with this person, you have lost. You have lost. You have downsized from the last person that you were with. And you was you downsized, like you feel like you downsized, like you didn't gain anything from this relationship. <laughs> mm. So this person is feeling like the prize, but the truth is, you downsized. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a mess. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Please tell me more. Yes. You wanted someone to give you that success, but this person gave you empty promises. You're still waiting for this Nine of Cups energy. You're still waiting for your success here, but there's no communication. You feel like they can give it to you, but look at that, the Queen of Cups. So you guys have mutual energy because they're trying to say they're going to give you the King of Cups, um, but they haven't made any movements or any stamps on that situation like this is in motion but you're ready oh wow this is interesting <laughs> all right so i'm gonna tap into this person's energy real quick okay let's just tap into them 
tap into them but i feel like i need to nope i'm gonna just use this one i'm being pulled i'm being pulled to this deck i haven't used it in a minute so that makes sense all right so let's just get some messages and see what's going on here for gemini's what is the energy what is the energy for gemini's holy spirit holy angels holy father what is the energy for gemini's for gemini's what is the energy for gemini's Oof, okay talk about clarity a lot of you have the star in reverse here as well like feeling very hopeless like there's no light at the end of the tunnel with this situation but there's going to be some kind of proof or some kind of evidence of what's being done and what's really going on that is coming towards you because you have a lot of questions and no answers okay there's a lot of confusion here there's a lot of tension here there is a lot of arguments here and there's no answers to your questions. It's like you just it's just it keeps coming. It keeps adding up like the red flags. This is what I'm seeing. Like a lot of you are definitely seeing a lot of red flags here. Clarity. I'm just seeing like you're receiving some kind of picture. It says truth, honesty as well true intentions you guys like you're going to be receiving something here a lot of your intuitions could be giving you downloads and you're having dreams detailed dreams about this person and seeing them actually going through life within your dreams and you're like what the hell was that but the angels are showing you something because you're worried and plus you're gifted But I'm seeing shocking energy here as well. Like you're shocked to receive this. You're shocked to know this. Some of you, this could be um, news that this person still wants to fix this. And you're pretty shocked about this as well. Because you seem, it seems like you feel like this is so hopeless. But then you're so shocked about what you're about to hear. Yeah, chaser. This person is coming towards you. And they give they giving me this player um, energy, but I feel like with the Knight of Wands, it's like that same vibe of coming towards you and cha chasing you. But there is also a lot of toxic behaviors with this person. Like remember, I told you this person is coming towards you, but they're not there to stay. So could, this could be also an attraction. Okay, second chance. Wow. Holy Spirit, <laughs> you getting them messages, honey. Because the angels are saying there's a second chance. Somebody's rolling a dice here. And you are you need to make a decision. So you're conflicted. You don't know what you want. If you want this, remember I told you you have the, uh, the why within your energy. Crossroads where this person is going to give you some offer and within this energy there's a lot of confusion with that you don't know what you're going to choose you're hot and cold about this because you've been through multiple storms with this person you don't know if you want to continue there is also this apology that i saw earlier from the read with that page of cups like giving you some kind of awareness of or some kind of affection it says forgiveness return and sorry so this person is coming back to apologize okay <laughs> apology here conflicted because you have a decision to make second chance this person is coming in so they're not just coming in to have intercourse with you they're coming in to be with you they're chasing you, but this person has a lot of toxic trades. This person has a lot of toxic, toxic trades. And this is the same person who make you feel st very stressed. Like there's something going on, like the moon energy. Like this person is keeping secrets. 
this person is trying to hide things from you, which they are. And you feel like within the situation, like this is hopeless. <laughs> like there's this hopeless vibration to this. So get your faith back up, you guys. Tell me more. I don't like to see that hopeless energy. I feel like this person walked away from you and you had your heart on your sleeves. This is the same person that's coming towards you or coming back in your life. And then you have intimacy as well. So there's this like back and forth energy with you and this person. In and now four of cups. Hmm. You really thought that this person. Wasn't coming back. Because you thought this was f like final. You thought this was like gone, like this person was gone. And wow. This is crazy. And now uh, <laughs> you're looking at yourself in a relationship again, because I'm getting back and forth. Like you confide in this person. And another thing is, it's like so many things that you share with this person, but they have devilish tendencies where they're sharing it with other people. So I'm also see healing, releasing energy, trying to purify yourself and purify your environment, trying to cleanse your environment. You're having some kind of realization here understanding like you're being awoke or you're seeing things again visions dreams look at that release is coming up twice you have release here and release here letting go moving on and walking away but you're walking away this picture doesn't match huh because look at what the picture it has this picture has you're walking away and it seems like you're walking away from the past from the problems that you guys had before and you're walking away together you're letting go letting go moving on walking away so it's not that you're walking away from each other you're walking into a new beginning with each other as well like the realization new perspective like you're seeing things in a new direction so you're a lot of you could be giving this a second chance because you have the second chance card here it's like, wow, I get it now. Kind of vibe. Wow, emotional storm, beauty, silence. And what? What is this peace? What am I getting from this? Holy Spirit. I just feel like you are so emotionally in this person um like into this person because i'm seeing the open heart here like you just wear your heart on your sleeves kind of energy but these are also a lot of trials and tribulations within this relationship where you're going through a lot of turmoil or this person might be triggering you um with certain things that happened in your past and this could also be the 10 too like you're just like needing to heal for those of you because of the trauma or the turmoil that you've been through this instability or unstable stability within your life that you never really looked at and it's time to get out and look at that the angels are reminding you how beautiful you are something about your self-value to continue to be graceful and kind-hearted they want to like you know let you know that that's how people look at you um that's who you truly are within with within your higher self and you know you can get whatever you want i'm also seeing silence as well like frozen no words stone wall like i'm just getting like there's this hot and cold vibe i don't know some it's like there's a cycle here, or a pattern, or a juggling situation in and out. 
because sometimes something about frozen energy is like cold energy here like someone is not talking to you like there's no communication um like you're just not getting any feedback soulmate a lot of you could be dealing with your other half well i say your other half but you know you're just your soul soul tie connection deep love un unity connection here like you just know this person from a past life you know like you just feel like you there's something about this person you just love this person differently like you you like people before but this is something different and you just don't understand it because this person sometimes they give you this energy like they're in love and they like you and sometimes they just don't give you a like they give you mis mixed signals like they don't like you um like they don't want to open up like they don't want to tell you that they truly love you you know i feel like this person <laughs> is having some kind of situation here i'm just getting like this back and forth energy and this could be a karmic effect okay that they need to go through and i'm also seeing cause and effect so something was done here to have this happen um i'm seeing perspective like you're better off a lot of you are thinking or realizing that you're better off or feeling like you're better off within the situation situation all right let me just um see what's going on with this person's energy let's get into it Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Holy Father, for Gemini's. What's going on here? I need to look at the, um, the weather for the week honestly you guys and i want to see what the weather is going to be like because i'm ready i know up north just started to snow and they have their snowstorms and stuff but i'm ready for the heat down here honestly i'm ready for the heat down here i'm ready for the palm trees to bloom whatever we don't got no palm trees down here but i'm just <laughs> I'm ready to go to Home Depot and see the banana trees on sale you know what i'm saying i'm just ready I'm ready, y'all. I want to put some banana trees out. I love banana trees. So, yeah, period. I want to be doing that. All right, so thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Gods. What's going on with this person? Feelings for Geminis. What's the energy, period, for this person? What's the energy for this person? They're saying that they're holding things behind. They are. They're holding things behind because of the love that they have for you. That's crazy. Okay, but they're so immature because I'm seeing like the way they, the like, there's no real movement towards you, but they really do care about you. And they don't want you to know about something. They don't want you to know about what they got going on. And they're trying to control everything. Tell me about the Seven of Wands energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's this person hiding? What's going on here with the Seven of Wands energy? What's going on with the Seven of Wands energy? They're making wrong moves, wrong decisions. Okay, this person could be coming out of some kind of relationship. That they lost everything. They gave this person everything. And they lost everything. There's still some kind of feeling or some kind of doors that are open with this situation. That they need to close and they need to heal from. Tell me more. There's some kind of hurt still there. 
we got the Queen of Pentacles, the Moon, the King of Pentacles. Wow, look at this, like the similar energies coming through. So you guys could have met at work or you guys could have have similar interest in whatever you guys do for a living. Um, you guys have the same goals, the same dreams. But one is ready and one is not. This is why divine timing is so important because it's not the right time. You guys are on different vibrations, but yet you guys met. I'm also seeing the moon energy there. <clears throat> like there was a mistake here. Tell me more. Wow. The five of swords. A lot of embarrassment with this mistake in the moon. Like you just felt like this was not right. Like this person wasn't right. And I just got into their business with the five of swords energy where they're definitely doing things and this is very hurtful and embarrassment and embarrassing and this person still does not get that tell me more you have the page of wands they don't even want to try you guys you got a five of swords the, the, the page of wands they don't think they did anything wrong here they don't get it but they're trying to keep you out of what they got going on they feel like you are not you don't need to know all of this because the, the care that they're doing it because they care about you but at the same time this hurt for some of you you could have found out something and this person walked right past you like you saw them or you caught them doing something and they act like they didn't even know you for those of you who this person is already in a relationship because i'm seeing like they're coming out of something like they're being pushed out of something actually like they're trying to still control this situation, but they're being pushed out. Like somebody don't want them there no more in that house, in that vibration. And these are things that they need to close. I'm also seeing the 10 here, the 10 of wands. We have the high front and we have the page. Well, the queen of swords energy tell me more holy spirit and just put this up a little bit so we can have some space down here if you guys hear me burp i'm drinking this this <laughs> ginger ale so trying not to burp in the video but y'all all right, so okay, so we have the Four of Swords. We also have the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just seeing no communication. Something about no communication here for those of you. Like this person is avoiding you, so you're avoiding them. I'm also seeing some kind of codependency here. So I'm just seeing like somebody behind this person telling this person what to do, how to feel, how to think. You know, this is what I'm seeing here. And I'm also seeing this, um, this 10 of wands. Like there's so many things that's going on within this person's life that they're holding on. They're carrying something. They're carrying the burden of some form of relationship. At least this is what they're saying. Like, this is such a burden. Like, their life is so heavy. There's no one there to actually guide them. I'm also seeing the four. So there's a lot of mental um, struggles that this person has been going through as well. And I'm also seeing some kind of break that took place. I'm seeing that's lifted. So this person is in and out or hot and cold. One moment they're good with you. One moment they're not. One moment like you had a good conversation and then this person just disappears on you and you're like what the hell happened you know i'm also seeing the king of cups and the knight of cups so definitely seeing like
there is like feelings towards you and this person but i'm just seeing like there is different ways that you guys go about it like i'm seeing the king of cups knight of cups hmm this is just a little cray cray Like, I just feel like there's an energy like, and these are in reverse, mind you. So it's like, I like one person really wants to have something real here, but they just like keep that back because they don't know what's going to happen. And the other person is like, let's just see what happens. But they even keep that back. So there's no like, for both of you, there's no like, let's move forward when it comes to the love that we have for each other. It's like, everybody is just like unemotional right now. <laughs> I'm trying to be unemotional because I think it's by fear here. It's just fear. But because this person does care, but they're not showing you that. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> All right, so you have the eight here. Somebody was trying to fit me. Well, this person was trying to make you feel trapped, but they're saying that you're releasing this force of energy. You're not trapped anymore. You're not doubting yourself. There was a lot of lies to keep you in this energy, but you're getting your self-confidence back. And this person might just feel the same way because I'm seeing the strength here as well, where Angel Michael is coming in and kind of like letting this person know like they're going to have to like fix this. There's also some form of jealousy here as well within this person's energy because I'm seeing some kind of blockness. Like they're saying that you block them, okay? Um, I'm also getting Taurus energy. I don't know if I said that. Major Arcana Pisces is also coming through in Leo, all right? We also have that Magician here. So that's Gemini and Virgo energy as Major Arcana as well. So I'm seeing the Four of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Knight of Swords. Within the strength card, the angels are reminding this person that they have it within them to kind of like fix whatever this is. For those of you, this could be a marriage that is in reverse as well because I'm seeing the high front there. But like I said earlier, this person does want to like fix this. You know, it's like they're failing if this is a marriage for those of you because also I'm seeing the ace of pentacles here. This could be the same relationship as this. <sighs> It's like they feel like they're being pushed out of this relationship. Okay? This is their side. This is how they feel. So obviously, you know, sometimes it's hard for us to see our ways. We're not perfect. <laughs> um, and this is why I pull their side because I want to see what's going on here. You know? Because you think it up a different way, but this person could think of you a different way as well. But they feel like they're being pushed out of this relationship. And there's a lot of healing that is needed here, okay? But the, I'm seeing like positive vibe, positive energy. But I'm also seeing like some kind of jealousy. And there's a blockage. Or they've been blocked. The Four of Pentacles. I'm seeing the, like, like this let go energy. So Gemini, this could definitely be a you unless you're dating a, another gemini like yourself all right so we have the six of pentacles the nine of wands and we also have the seven of swords tell me more holy spirit tell me more tell me more tell me more Let's see Ooh, I got more than what I needed. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes the angels do that, so. Six of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, I just seem, I'm just looking at this and I'm like, okay, there's going to be balance here, but I'm also seeing like, there's this energy of you and this person. Like they're bringing up both of you as well, that 
don't want this to end because I'm just seeing like this constant fight in to hold up something like they're still holding up. But you had the ten of wands in reverse, the ten of wands in reverse. But I believe the nine of wands was in the upright. So you still want to be very secretive like you don't want a lot of people to know what really truly happened or how this relationship was you feel like some things must stay private but at the same time you know you are burned out from this connection and you feel like everything was on your back but they're saying that everything is on their back i'm also seeing the seven of swords um where this was a lot of lies here and there's still some things within the moon that you just don't know and they're bringing that up as well like you just don't know <laughs> I'm also seeing the 10 here, so they still do want a future with you, and they're saying like this is going to take time, but they still want to have a future with you, um, and they want to move on here, but I feel like with this, in th with it, this eight, this eighth is crazy because they're moving on, like you guys are separated. Tell me about this. Tell me about this eight, because at this moment, it's like I'm just getting like this decision of like okay maybe walking away is the best thing for us to do at this moment to try to find ourselves and see if this is what we truly want so tell me about this eight holy spirit holy angels holy father yeah something about this person is giving me vibes of like okay we need time to heal like Maybe I won't be the one to give you what you want right now. I can't be there. This is the in and out energy. I'm not always there. You know, something is going on within this person where this is really severe. Like I'm just getting this severe energy. And they're like, you know what? I really want to have this happiness with you. I really need you to be patient with me. But maybe we should go our separate ways, you know, and find out if this is what we truly want. And if it is, then we'll find our way back to each other in the three of wands you see what I'm saying so it's like they want to like test this relationship I feel like a lot of you give me the vibe of being married way too early or just jumping into this way too soon um, and it got serious really quickly and this is all that you knew for a while but I'm also seeing in the future it's like stability non there's this conflict, but it is going to be a breakthrough. Scorpio and Aries here. A breakthrough of success, completion, overcoming obstacles and, conf and conflict. And co what is it? Conflicts. Um, especially you feeling like you're just never number one in this relationship. I'm just seeing like learning how to really communicate again and, and move certain ways, even though the Ace of Wands is in reverse. I'm just seeing like, like learning how to get past this energy, like shutting down energy within the devil. Oh, wow. Let's just get entwined with some messages, other messages. Let's see what we can do right here. Maybe we can include some of your person's messages and see what we have. For Gemini's Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's the energy? What's the energy? What's the energy? What's the energy? Thank you. Okay, it says, ooh, my friends and some of my family wanted us to break up for sure. Wow. So this is the codependency. This is the, I never had this before. So this could, it doesn't say your person, but this could be you too. That is coming from you because it says my friends and my, and some of my family 
Wow, some of my family wanted us to break up for sure. Like they did not like you, <laughs> okay? So don't get it twisted. And a lot of you probably thinking, oh my God, they liked me, you know? But they're spilling the tea here. Someone is spilling the tea. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else do we have here? What else do we have for Gemini's situation? What is this? It says your person on it. Ooh, I'm lacking faith and mutual anger is still inside of me. So they're saying you're angry, they're angry. And they're lacking faith, like they're giving up. Like a lot of you tried and tried and tried again, but it's just not going anywhere. Tell me more. Your person again, I'm so jealous of all the attention you get, but I won't admit it. Ooh. So there is jealousy about this person. Like this person has jealousy over you because I was seeing the page of swords like blocked and then we had the knight of swords blocked. And this usually is because like this person is over talking you, being very like quick um, over you, being very loud, being very like gossipy, gossipy. That's what I'm getting to. Like there was a lot of gossip here. Tell me more. Okay. <laughs> Your person is saying this. They are trying to give up. They are trying to give up on loving you and only you, but they cannot. They're trying to give up on loving you. Oh, okay. So this person is trying to give up on loving you. They are trying to give up on loving you and only you. So this person is saying like, your person, they are trying to give up on loving you and only you, but they cannot. So it's like someone close to your person is saying that your person is trying to do this. So the only person that they're in love with or have their heart is you. And you know, the crazy thing about this is, is like, remember when I said like, there is love here, but this person is not letting you know that. Something about this person is not letting you know that how they truly feel for you. It's like a lot of you are feeling like you're replaceable. And you don't know why like this person is letting you feel that way. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What's the message here? I'm just going to put this one over here because this is like in between. Like maybe it's your person, maybe it's you. But these are your person right here. Those are your person, period. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else can we get from this? Ooh, oh, oh, okay now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have another one that this might be you or your person it doesn't say your person. My, my new karmic family. Woo. So listen, why am I getting family? I never had this. I'm getting family situation. Like, so listen, there's the lesson, the devil's energy. They were stuck into something that they could not get out of. And this makes so much sense because they're saying my friends and some and some of my family wanted us to break up for sure. So they were scheming. Their family were scheming. For those of you that their family was telling you stuff and smiling in your face and you listen, they were faking it. <laughs> my new listen, my new karmic family and friends might have put a spell on you. And they're saying new. So these people are just not even, these people wasn't even there. 
in their lives, in your life. Because they're saying my new karmic. So it's like they didn't have a relationship with them or a good one. And they're coming in because I feel like this is shady the way they're doing it. Then it says your person here. Okay. It says, do I still have a chance? I can't get you out of my head. Wow. Yeah. It's like you're really thinking about the trials and tribulation of this relationship. Because there's like they're begging you. And it's like the, the first when we started this reading, I was getting like a huge apology too. that page of cups. And then the apology actually came up on the second round as well. So that was a confirmation that this person just wants to like do some kind of peace. But there was a five of swords energy where this person really did a lot of horrible things to you. Embarrassing things. And this could also be about the family situation as well, where they didn't make you feel safe or secure or make you feel like you were number one within that situation. Like they chose you, you know, like they're standing up for you. Like you felt like they didn't stand up for you. This is your person. I see life differently and now you're gone. So you guys broke up because now they finally get it or something that they're saying. They finally get it, but you're gone. You act like you're gone. You act like you moved on, like you don't want to be with them no more, but they finally get it. All right. So this one, let's see. You're a person, okay? I feel you even though we are apart. Yep, y'all broke up. I need to fix me. So this person has a lot of work within them. They're trying to like take responsibility of this whole situation. But this person still have an energy of in it to win it because the Five of Swords came up. Okay, tell me more, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. All right, so you have another one. <laughs> Listen what they're saying here. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you want me to read it? It says, please let's work it out. I'm so heartbroken after you left. You're a person. Hello. One more. They want to work this out. They want to work this out. It says your person here. <laughs> it says, I look for you everywhere. Okay. I'm, I'm, I miss the way you, t you touch me. Wow. I look for you everywhere. I missed the way you touched me. So they miss you physically. What's on the back? It says your person. I still don't know why I cheated on you. I wish I could take back the hurt I caused. Whoa, that was deep. That was deep. But this is what I have for that. Your person's energy. And, you know, we had two that came out that could have been your person or you because it, it's just not titled that way. You know what I mean? So take that as it resonates. For those of you. All right, so let's just dive into. Ooh. Some messages here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But I wanted to dive into the um the feelings first before I forget. So let's just do that. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. For Geminis, what's the energy here for Geminis? What's the energy here for Geminis, please? What's the energy here for Geminis? The energy here for Geminis. Energy here for Geminis. This is 
person feel for Gemini's? Let's see. They look at you as the Queen of Wands energy, but they feel like they feel like they're there's just stuck energy with you as well. Like like there's no moving forward because of this three of swords. So this three of swords could be that they really hurt you severely. Like they look at you as very like nurturing and kind and you didn't deserve this, but you're still healing here. Tell me about this three of swords. But there's going to be a breakthrough. The truth. But they made some mistakes. Tell me more. The mistake really put this in motion and they didn't want this to happen. They're making some force of decision here. What is this decision? Because they're overwhelmed with this situation. They're being pushed out. Oh. They need to make a decision with this situation here. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be a whole ball of people that are just making it very difficult here. Like they were playing both sides. They were playing both sides. They didn't take a side. This could be a family situation that caused them to make many mistakes. I'm also seeing the Ace of Cups in reverse. So there's a delay within this energy. Like there, I'm just getting like this person it probably won't work, but they're begging for a chance. Let's just see what your energy is towards this person. Gemini's energy towards this person. It's Gemini's energy towards this person. Thank you. Gemini's energy towards this person. Gemini's energy towards this person. I feel like there is like still like an opportunity for you and this person like you're saying you're giving this person that benefit of a doubt like maybe one day in the future but for now you're definitely looking at this like there's no option right now um there's no way right now it's way too soon like you're still going through this moment of all the lies and betrayal and all the control that this person have you know put upon your life look at that you're still showing up as the queen of wands energy you didn't deserve this you were nurturing and, and you were kind and you were trying to help them and they put you through a cycle okay they put you through some kind some form of unlucky times with them with their energy like you just been through it and it wasn't very lovely on the back of the deck you're saying that this person needs to better themselves here okay and work on their confidence and change have a breakthrough within life because the three of swords they're constantly doing this and hurting you or you know, and you just don't want to deal with this anymore. It's crazy because you have the three and they have the three of swords and you have the three of swords. <laughs> Ooh, so you want similar things together. Similar things. Let's see what the message is for ya. And then we're going to end this after the fact. The Holy Spirit. Let's see Gemini's energy for this read. Gemini's energy for this read. Holy Spirit, what is the energy? 
There's so much cards here. I'm trying to shuffle. Break and shuffle. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Guides. Thank you. Ooh, so you're getting your passion back. A huge force of energy. A lot of you are definitely in this energy of creating again. <laughs> Bringing things to life. A lot of you are at your crossroads here with the decision energy. Like you have to make a decision to kind of like move on or to stay where you are. I just feel like there's some new things coming into your life on the 8th. Number eight coming up. Yep, fresh start. The angels are saying to trust this. To trust this because it's a fresh start. It's very new for you. But I'm seeing like you're jumping into this. You're jumping into this energy. Tell me more. Ooh, action. So don't wait. A lot of you are fearing this. You don't know. Like, why am I hearing that you have to get away? Like, some of you are very tied up or felt very trapped. Like, this is not possible. Like, a lot of you are waiting for some kind of energy with, with, with your life. Like, waiting for spirit to kind of, like, come in and, like, take you out of this. But... Spirit is saying that you need to move. Like you're not moving. Like they're giving you all the signs. They're giving you all the opportunities. But you are in a physical body where you need to move that body. Because look, you feel attached. You feel trapped. <sighs> There's a new beginning happening here. You're at your crossroads. They're giving you a sign for a new start. They're saying to move. It's coming in. It's here. It's happening. A lot of... Um, fire energy for those of you a lot of passion a lot of movement so things are trends like forming within your life or there's transitions happening like there is walls are opening for you <laughs> like you need to jump you need to take the leap of faith the zero card you need to act like a child again and just be caught like curious and jump into it I'm seeing that a lot of you might be worried, but I'm hearing like you don't need to be worried because everything is already prepped for you. Appreciation. Number three, reach out. Passion. Again, no, not passion, patience, excuse me. Period. Number seven, crown chakra. A lot of you are getting a, a lot of information. Downloads. Wait for it. Be patient. Be patient. There's a hand. Like someone is trying to give you a hand. Appreciate. Something about appreciation. Because you're going to be moving to another level within life. And the angels want you to appreciate how little you have now. Because some people don't have that. Um, so you can go to the next level in life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. So let's see. Number seven. Number four. Ace. What is this? Throw chakra. So you're receiving information and... And the angels are saying, like, you need to express your feelings. Like, this is important. Because I'm seeing like you're going to be experiencing new, exciting, amazing blessings that are coming into your life. Like, this is called 
I feel like a lot of you have the victory that's coming into your life. But a lot of you are very much not appreciating the things that you have accomplished and where you are. You have this boredom energy. <sighs> Disconnected. A lot of you might be just going through the depression here because I'm feeling like you're trying to keep busy. You don't like your own bubble. And this is something you need to work on. Someone is waiting for results here as well. Some kind of proof. Hmm. Fulfillment of wishes. Number nine. Nine of cups, you guys. So you're going to be receiving the victory, plus all your wishes are going to be granted, but you need to have appreciation. Okay? I'm hearing that a lot of you, if you don't do the work, you're going to be at the top, and you're going to want to go further and further and further to the top. <laughs> Number 16 is showing up. It's always showing up. Number 16, 17, keep the hope alive. You might feel like you're being pulled to pieces or you might feel like people are grabbing this side of you or you're in some form of war here where they just want you to be on their side. Like they don't want you to have some kind of um, say within the situation. Like you're feeling disruption, disruption, number 16, like you're just not yourself. You're not whole, but there's going to be a spiritual union. A lot of you could be meeting someone. Okay. But you're going to have, yeah, this is about love. This is about your six. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. Because sometimes spiritual union doesn't even have to be about love. But here it is, number six. And it's making it very clear, okay, that you're going to be receiving some kind of love. This could be a romantic love. This could be just a relationship as a friendship that you, you know, were gifted to cosmically. Because you deserve it. I think you deserve this energy. I'm also seeing, wow, third eye. Look at the ace. Look at this love card. And you're mastering this energy as well. A lot of you were afraid of love. This is what I'm seeing. Or you were afraid of giving someone your heart because your heart chakra is very active right now. And I'm seeing like there is going to be challenges because the angels are saying obstacles and challenges. This is not going to be perfect. But you guys are going to be guided. Okay? So there's a lot of five energy. Hmm express yourself and just sit back and receive the messages from the holy spirit to guide you this is what i'm seeing here thank you holy spirit holy angels holy father holy guides Ooh. There's something about um, courage. There's something about strength. There's something about protection here that's coming up, okay? Like you feel like you need that protection. You need that courage. You need that strength. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Holy Angels, Holy Father. And I feel like your angels are with you, especially Angel Michael. Like, fighting on your behalf, you know? Harmony. So, whatever you guys are feeling, this is a six as well. Because this is a six. There's going to be peace here. Balance. Number six, your contract. Like, it might just... Things might just look off right now. Number 13, transformation. 
A lot of you might just have Scorpio energy within you or around you. Okay? I'm also seeing Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces here within this number two. I'm seeing a choice. Another choice. This is waiting game here. Be patient. Wow. Be patient. Yeah, a lot of you are getting into a new relationship. Caring connection number 14, 13. You're going through a transformation within your life right now. A lot of you are going to meet a Scorpio um, with this chakra card, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy, energy that is coming into your life or a lot of water-based energy. This is also Scorpio. It's crazy. And then I'm seeing like this earth tone card of be patient because there's going to be a caring connection coming into your life. Like don't lose faith. Don't lose faith. This is what I'm seeing here. All your wishes are about to come true. This is what I'm seeing, a waiting game. Just wait, enjoy your life. <laughs> enjoy your life because it's a, a huge responsibility when you're going to have to be in a relationship. A lot of you are like, oh my God, I want a relationship because you're thinking about going to the movies, having dinner, you know, having the kisses, having that intimacy whenever you want, right? But remember, a relationship with another person is this is not a robot. This is not, you know, someone that you can control. This is another person that has, you know, thoughts and want their own thing and want to be on their own sometimes, you know? You have to learn how to be in your own bubble, love yourself so that when this person gets a little cold and they just want to have, because I'm like that, I, I feel like when I'm in a relationship, if my boo want to go and hang with the boys in Miami, as long as you have that base of trust, you go because I'm like that too. When I want to be with my girls and I, I just want to go to say LA or something, I'm like that. I don't feel like, you know what, you need to be watching your partner, okay? That's, that's no trust if you have to watch each other, okay? And I want that my boo to have his boy nights. Like, I need, yeah, I need my space because look what I do for a living. I need to be my own element. I need to be my space. I need my space to be positive. I don't need someone to be all over me, <laughs> okay, period. So the angels are just saying like, Especially Scorpio, something with Scorpio, because I'm like that. I'm a Scorpio. So I look like a lot of you gems are going to meet somebody water-based or something that's full of Scorpio. And their angels are trying to warn you, like, live your life, okay? Because this person, yeah, at first, you know, water-based signs love to be together in the first part of the relationship. But in a year or two, okay, babe, you could go on a vacation by yourself, okay? I need to be my own element. Not all water-based energy wants to be stifling their partner. Cancer is another thing. They want to be together forever, all the time. Uh-uh. I can't deal. Um, <laughs> sad, what is it? Uh, Pisces? I don't know. I, I never really been with a Pisces, so. But Cancers, I know all about Cancers. But Scorpios, I no, we, yeah, you know, we don't want to be with our partners all day, every day. You need your space. It's like Leo energy. We need space. <laughs> okay um especially if you're scorpio and leo moon like myself so if you have leo within your chart gems i mean this is going to benefit you you know because sometimes you just need to be by yourself you need to drive around you need to hop on your motorcycle and be free okay <laughs> be free and this is a warning because i'm seeing like you need to love yourself you need to make sure everything is unified Work on your crown chakra. Listen to your angel guides because your angel guides are giving you messages. A lot of you are going through this five of detaching from someone. Like there's some kind of codependency here. Like look how you were chained to this person. Like chained and had a mask on. So nobody couldn't see your face or you couldn't look in it. You couldn't look at somebody for a long period of time because of jealousy. You weren't yourself. Within this relationship, you lost who you were. <sighs> this person kept you locked up. Locked up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That song. But this person kept you locked up, 
kept con like control you couldn't do anything like they kept calling your phone you know and they just they were just with you and they and they're like they know you with your friends and they blowing up your phone like this was like really i don't know if this is you doing this it could be you doing this to that person or that person was doing this to you okay because wow wow ray z that's crazy all right so let's just get into the final messages of the day we're going to use the awakening 1111 if you want to purchase that deck that deck will be in the description box of course all right all right so let's just see what we got thank you holy spirit holy angels what's going on for gemini's energy wow that was a deep message what's going on holy spirit what's going on for today and all my videos are timeless you guys so just keep that in mind okay whenever you reach it you reach it whenever you hear it you hear it Ooh. let's see you know what? I'm just going to take these because Twin Flame Energy, y'all. Loyalty, change. Ooh. Mystery. Divine Timing. Didn't we just talk about that? <laughs> Divine Timing. Twin Flame Connection. A lot of you thought that whatever you guys were going through, I feel like it was a Twin Flame Energy because there was a lot of fear there. A lot of like misunderstandings. The angels are saying there's a change or a gift that is coming towards you. Some kind of expansion. Hmm. I feel like whatever change this is, this is crazy because it says I was my own mistake, yet you loved me. So it's like. I'm just getting a lot of sabotage here within this Wheel of Fortune. This change card. But yet you sincerely had true love for this person and loyalty towards this person. And no one could understand it. It's like the first time you met them, you just connected. It was love at first sight for most of you. And this person kept you on your toes. There is that attached energy again. You see? Those hearts attached to the hip. So I'm just getting that because of the breakup, this was very hard. And now a lot of you are trying to figure out who you are as a person. Because you forgot yourself. You forgot your independence. You forgot who you are within this connection. I have to look at the time. Is that the right time? It couldn't be. It really couldn't because it says almost 3 o'clock. And I know I have an appointment for 3. <laughs> Gems. Probably going to have to end this real quick. Okay, so hidden secret. And something was forbidden because it says forbidden here. And there was a chariot, like somebody's waiting for the chariot within the divine time and as well, or someone is waiting for someone to come back. It says, I want to come clean, but I need determination. So this person is having you, there's a delay because of determination, like there's no drive, you know, like this person is afraid of rejection or what you might say. There's also a cloudy moment here. So there is like this cloudy judgment card. Like you don't know the facts, you don't know the truth, but a decision needs to be set. This is what I'm seeing here. There's also kind of like this karmic vibe with this energy because of all the turmoil that you have faced. So you're getting some good karmic energy here that's coming back towards you. 
this relationship was very deep it was the deepest thing you ever felt this is what i'm getting and there is this only you so capricorn virgo or taurus energy is also coming up for those of you that been through something with a person but i'm here in release let this situation go okay because everything is going to be revealed i feel like you are so loyal to this person and here this person is hiding their face hiding their face from you crazy all right then we have a storm warning so there is more to come because this, some of you are dealing with your twin flame energy so you're learning a lot learning a lot of things that you don't want to be a part of but you know it's like you're being forced to experience this but in life like in this physical world that's how you feel but in the spiritual you signed up for this but i'm also seeing um empty here like you thought that this person was going to give you peace joy happiness you thought that this person was going to be your person <laughs> you know you really did you really thought this person was going to do that but look at that, your happiness here, but you're empty. Settling for less, but want more energy. Do you even see this? Settling for less, but want more. You're empty, but you wanted happiness. You wanted money. You wanted love, money and love here. Stability, but you haven't got that. The peace card is also coming up. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. A lot of you are going to be meeting someone with this energy. Someone so emotional. Someone that you can share your thoughts with. Um, but I feel like you're, you're in a place where you're broken because of this ex-lover. You see this? What the hell? So crazy right now ex-lover energy you guys very passionate and it was very hard for you to break from this person for some of you i'm looking at this and i'm like uh you haven't broke from this person mm -mm. it's like you have you know you have to be very careful because someone is coming into your life and you don't want to be that karmic energy you don't want to turn yourself into that karmic energy there was a mistake here. Obviously, somebody was trying to use witch spells to keep something together from their past. And you have to let that go. It brought a lot of stress and depression into your life and a lot of attachment issues because you were not healing from the abandonment that you have been experiencing throughout life. But this is what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.